All right, so probably if you've clicked on this video, it's probably because you've been exploring a lot about trying to fix your problem. Well, I'm not gonna say that I will fix your issue. What I'm gonna tell you now is I will try to explain you what can create pain so that if you do your stretching, if you go for a massage, if you go for a dry needling, or maybe sometimes if you use the ball, the myofascial, the lacrosse ball, and you don't get the result, it only lasts for a few hours or 24 hours, then I will try to explain you what can create pain and what you should be looking out for, not making the same mistake over and over. Let's get started. So to explain you a bit more, I use, I'm gonna use this pelvis, but I'm also gonna use myself to explain. So what can create pain? In a fashion, the muscle, sometimes the muscle is what is called elongated. So the muscle is a bit lengthened, is underactive. For example, if you look at my shoulder, my shoulder is going down, and this whole side of the trapeze, this is not very active and needs to be more activated. That means my muscle is underactive. This, you can massage as much as you like and trigger point as much as you like. This is not gonna work out. You need to understand what is the reason in the whole structure why your shoulder is underactive and you need to have a little bit of strengthening and understanding the structure. This is number one. Number two, it's either too compressed. Let's say we use the spine here and we have a compression, let's say, of the lumbar spine on the, on the left QL here. This is tight and is preventing the spine from moving, either going to flexion, extension, or have some rotation here. And this is called locked short. And in this one, yes, you will need to release with a ball or a massage to get, to release a little bit the area to get a bit more movement into it, okay? This is called locked short. Afterwards, for example, knee pain you can also i would call it grinding what you need to understand is that the skeleton is floating in the fascia okay that means that the skeleton needs space or need to have the fascia in the right length so that the joint can move properly for example knee pain is a common one and i'm not saying that knee pain is always what i'm going to describe but it's one of them if i show you my knee or this is like my knee, this is the top of my leg this is my calf sometimes the quads are extremely tight and are preventing the knee from just doing its job moving properly. And there's a bit of a grinding here and this is what is creating pain. Sometimes the patella, for example, patella pain, if you release the quads and maybe the anterior tibialis, most likely you will give more space so that the knee can move a bit more freely. Okay, this is called the grinding. All right, finally, the last one I would like to introduce you to is the twisting. If you look at my pelvis here, there's a thoracic cage here and sometimes the thoracic cage is twisted to one side and a bit more shift in this way or the other way. This will create pain on the shoulder, on the lower back or other part of the body. And if you do not tackle or have a look at and understand that your thoracic cage is twisted and you do not fire the right muscle to get this thoracic cage a bit more stacked up on the pelvis you can do whatever you want your problem will still be the same look in the mirror ask your physio or whoever you work with to make an assessment and have a look at that okay so i hope this is going to help you a little bit more to understand what to do and what not to do as well if you are interested to learn more about your body and understand a bit more what is the cause of your issue and try to have a more like a long-term plan feel free to put a comment below let's do it and let's get in touch okay until then if this video was helpful don't forget to subscribe and like the video and until then keep it up and see you next time